Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 75 of my Legion United career mode. Now, in today's episode, we're going to get further through the transfer window, hopefully getting one or two more signings, and we're also going to start the new season as well. We've got our first game against West Brom coming up, and as you can see, we have not played any games yet, so it is our first one of the season, and uh, we do have a little bit of money to spend here. We've got 12.7 million, uh, but we've also got to remember that we've actually put in a bid still uh, for Redmond to try and get him in. That was 10 million, so uh, we are going to have a little bit of money left over after that, but not too much um, so we'll have to wait and see if we can get rid of some players before we can sign any more before we get into things if we could go hit 25 likes on this video that would be really appreciated also if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button as well that would be really appreciated um, if we could try and do that I think we've just hit 3,800 subs so thank you all uh, for subscribing recently that is really appreciated guys let's move on into things and try and get in Redmond we need another winger to kind of cover us a bit better because we're going to be going into the Champions League and obviously we're, we're challenging for the Premier League title this year as well so let's try and get in some players and also sell some as well we've got this first scout report coming in uh, for this French guy who I was scouting before 63 overall 19 years old doesn't look anything special uh, a few of you were saying I should get him Ben Arthur uh, over the last few episodes I've been looking at him and you know he's 8.5 million but he's 31 years old and he's just not particularly fast I don't know if it would really work to be honest him signing uh, which is a bit of a shame um, but I'll certainly consider it I don't know whether it would be the right signing to make when we don't have loads of money to spend if you know what I mean um, so I think we'll leave him for now and transfer for in here for Barahino 24 million. We've also got another one in there from uh, Fiorentina for 33.5. So it's clear that uh, Bayern Leverkusen aren't interested really in spending too much money. So 24 million miles off the pace. Um, so I think we might well reject that one straight away. But Fiorentina, I will, I will contemplate this one a little bit because obviously that sort of money could really help us. But I think I'd need more than 33.5. I think it'd be closer to 45 that I'd need for Berahino. Again, though, I am a little bit reluctant to sell him. He has been a very good player for us. Um, but certainly, if I was to sell him, I'd be looking for around 45 million. I think I will counter that one. It's a little bit risky because they might well match it. I don't really know, to be honest. And I will do the same with Bayern Leverkusen. Uh, I would be surprised if they matched it. But we'll wait and see. Um, I've given them a price. If they do want to match it, um, then we'll obviously have to look at new players. And let's move on into trying to get Redmond now, if we can, before this West Brom game. First of all, a final scout report on another right back, a 19 year old, 74 overall, and look at that pace, that is the first thing to look at, wow, uh, great strength as well, his physical attributes are really good, and actually his technical ones are very good as well, so he does look like a really good right back at Norwich, we got so many right backs up though, and we can't really afford to just get anybody in, um, but he is certainly a very good right back, can he play anywhere else? No, just right back for now, and uh, we will have to see whether we do need him or not. He'd been interesting signing, 74 overall is really good for someone of his age, 19 years old. Do we get rid of someone like Yedlin and just throw this guy into the starting 11? Uh, where is Yedlin? I might well have gone past him actually. He's 79 overall, 25 years old. Five overall difference and yet there's six years between them. I'm a little bit tempted to be honest. I am because I think this guy's got more potential. Uh, he's six foot two, And do you know what? I think I'm going to risk it. Just to kind of develop the players a bit more. I think I'm actually going to risk having... Yedlin going, I think. I'll be back in a second once I've fully decided, actually. I'm not 100% sure on this one. Okay, what I'm going to try and do, it might not work, is offer them Cannon Wilson in order to get the right back in. And then we'll kind of just have Yedlin as maybe the starting still, and we'll probably rotate between the two. Something like that. I know I've got loads of right backs, um, but certainly I just want to try and upgrade the team as much as possible. Uh, Norwich is sending up 14.5, not 110. We'll go with, I think, 12 is really as much as I can give them. Uh, to be honest, we might have to put in somebody else as well. Um, we are looking at getting rid of Manu Garcia, so drop it down to 11. We'll trick in Manu Garcia, see what they say to that. Maybe they want to, most likely the thing is they probably don't, but we'll wait and see what they say. Okay, here we go, so the moment of truth. Have they matched the Barahino? Well, we do actually have a player sold, first of all, and that's uh, Vareno to Chelsea. Only 210 grand added there. Will they go ahead? Okay. Wow, Bayern have really jumped up, and they've actually matched the 45 million. Fiorentina haven't, though, even though that they were the higher amount first of all. Bayern have actually matched it. Okay, we need to look at a replacement with Berahino now. 45 million. Wonder how much of that we'll actually get to keep. I, I certainly wasn't expecting to get rid of him in this episode. That wasn't planned. Um, but they have matched the 45, and for Berahino, he's 83 overall, 25 years old, I think it was, or 24. Um, that is not a bad amount to have 45 million for him. It might be best that we get rid of him. 
we'll have to see now. It's obviously all in their hands if they can agree personal terms. I need to now look at someone who's going to be good enough to go in and replace him. I think this might well be the man to replace him. He's not English, sadly, but to find somebody as good as Berahino that is English will be difficult. This is the guy. Look at his pace. Look how fast he is. But the thing that excites me most is he's six foot one. Look at his strength. Look at his jumping. He's going to be really good for us going forward. Finishing with 79. Okay, that could do with improving. But 89 shot power, 82 curve. He looks really good. 81 overall, 22 years old. I mean, what more could you ask for, really? Um, so he's going to be something we look at, certainly. Um, we're also going to take a look, I think, at Daniel Sturridge as well. Uh, that would kind of make some sense. He's got 11 months left on his contract. He is a bit more experienced, obviously. He's got more overall. Um, and I think, you know, his pace-wise, it's pretty good as well, obviously, and his finishing. So we'll certainly look at Sturridge as well. Uh, but we just need to try and get Berahino out the door, first of all. And usually I play this first game against West Brom, but I'm going to have to sim it just so we can fit everything into this episode. Hopefully it goes well. This will probably be Berahino's last match, assuming that they agree personal terms. We need to get things off to a good start. So if we lose here, I'd be very disappointed, obviously, because uh, we're aiming not to do that very much, if at all, in this season. We've won the game 3-1 after all that. Thank God for that. Uh, we did manage to do it just about, and uh, we got ourselves the first three points, which actually puts us top of the league at the moment, which is brilliant. Uh, transfer offer in here for Barraginho, and it's from Roma. They've obviously realised that we are willing to sell Barraginho if it's for the right, uh, right price. Again, we will say counter offer 45 million. If you want to pay it, you pay it. If not, go away. Uh, Bailey's out for six weeks. Oh my days. Six weeks. And Tommy Smith's out for 10 days. What is it with Bailey picking up all these big injuries? Same with Congolo. He's only done a very similar thing over the last season. And uh, Diego Torre is suspended. That's the only thing with sitting games. You always end up with players suspended and injured. And uh, Capella wants to leave the club. Or he's not happy with his role at the club, I should say. Um, which is understandable. I wouldn't be if, as well if I was in his position. But at the same time, I never really told him he's going to be a crucial first team player. So it kind of makes sense what we've done. And I think we'll just go ahead with these five players. Um, we'll see how they get on in these training drills. And hopefully get Berahino out the door quite quickly so that we can get that new player integrated into the team a bit. We've got the centre-back here going up to 68 overall. That's good for him. And uh, he might well be on the way out alone. I'm not really too sure um, exactly what I'm going to be doing with him yet. Let's just try and get Berahino sold and just get in loads of money for him. And we've not actually got him sold yet still. We're waiting on more transfer offers. Everton... I don't really want to send, uh, sell him to a rival team in the Premier League, so I'm just going to reject that one straight away. Um, I want to sell him abroad, ideally. And we've got Norwich accepting. They actually want Manu Garcia and 11 million for Redmond. And we're going to give him 40 grand a week and see what he says. So that will go for you, deal, and important first team player. But Norwich has said they're not interested in the player I've included for the right back, which is Callum Wilson. Um, so nobody seems to be interested in Callum Wilson, which is very strange. Uh, but we'll just give him 1 million on top of that. I don't know whether that's going to make a difference or not, we'll let him find out. Okay, a player's being sold, it must be Barahino. I don't think we've got anybody else that was on the way out. We might have gotten some money here, guys, this could be good. How have we done here? Is it Barahino that we've got rid of? Of course it is, yes, 38 million, he's gone to buy Labour Cues and that deal is done. Look how much money we've got, 51 million now. We need to get a new striker urgently, we're going to put in a bid, it's going to hopefully be quite a nice bid as well for the other team uh, cause we need to get him in and uh, beat Southampton to his name so let's see how he gets on with the bid we're gonna go with I think we're just gonna go 24 million I uh, was literally gonna go all out there we're not gonna try and get him in for chief we just want to get him in and uh, we'll try and do that I'm also looking at maybe getting another one in case it doesn't work uh, I've also got Wilson who we're trying to get rid of at the moment uh, it's not ideal him being the team I've also got Nelson Oliveira as well um, so I don't want to get in loads, but maybe Vardy should go. We'll have to look at that one as well. Uh, maybe we should get rid of Jamie Vardy to try and add better quality players to the squad. And just to prevent us from having a crisis before the next game in terms of not being able to get in as a striker, we'll put in a bid for storage as well. I think we'll here just go with 22 million, which I know is above the chief executive's valuation of him uh, because he's only got under a year left. But if you look at his value, it's 27 million. Liverpool don't want to get rid of him on the cheap. They won't really stand for uh, much less than 27. So I'll be surprised if they accept this one. Uh, but we'll certainly put in that bid. I'm also a little bit, te um, a little bit Tevez, a little bit tempted uh, to go over Tevez. Um, but obviously he doesn't really bring that presence up front, which is what I'm after really uh, with the striker. Obviously losing Berahino 
is a big one, so we need to try and get in someone that can fill his boots properly. And I think we've put in two decent bids there, so I'm not too worried. Um, as long as we can get at least one of them, that would be really good. Wait, Stoke City have signed Dimitri Payet for 15.5 million. That is a very strange signing. I don't know why he's gone to Stoke from West Ham. They were just saying that he's the key player for West Ham a moment ago as well, and they'll finish 8th or ninth, I think they said. Something like that. We've got a bid here for Ledesma, who we want to get rid of because he's not been good enough in-game. He's going to Blackburn on a one-year loan. And look at this. Finally, the Redmond deal's happened. They're finally happy with the player that I've included as part of the deal. And we can get rid of Manu Garcia, who didn't have a very good season for us. Due to a lack of opportunities mainly, but when I did play him, um, he didn't really perform. So I was a bit disappointed with him, and uh, we had to get rid of him for that. So... Yeah, we've got him Redmond now. He can play left or right mid, which is great. And I think our wings are much better this season. I feel much more confident having them on the pitch right now, which is great. Um, so, yeah, I think we're looking really good. I'm very happy with this team. There's obviously still a couple of players I'd like to get in and a couple of players, obviously, I'd like to uh, get rid of as well because we won't need them. Um, but other than that, I think we're doing really well so far. And look at that. They're again not interested in uh, Callum Wilson as part of that deal for the right back. So we will just get rid of that and maybe look at some sort of other deal. Okay, this time around I've gone with Luke Cow, who's worth 1.1 million and 5 million on top of that. We'll wait and see again what Norwich says. So I think that's a more realistic bid um, that they might accept. Uh, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. And it's getting very close to this Sunderland game. I don't really want to have to go into the match without a decent striker. It looks like we might have something accepted here. So let's wait and find out. We do. We've got Liverpool accepting, but not Porto. Very strange. Uh, I thought in the previous episode I decided to uh, scout Antonio, um, the West Ham left mid. 28 years old, though, so I'm kind of questioning that one a little bit. We don't really need him now. We've got another winger, um, but he's just someone I was looking at. And I think Ben Taylor was the other one as well, but I think he's just 62 overall, so I'm not too interested in him right now. Sturridge, that bid has been accepted. That was probably the one I wasn't expecting to be accepted, and I'll move on to it once I've got enough wage. Okay, so we are going to offer him a wage. Uh, I think we're just going to go with a three-year deal. He is 28 years old now, so he doesn't... He's in his prime, I'd say, but he's not really young anymore. We are going to go crucial first-team player, three-year deal, 140 grand a week, and see what he says to that. He might not want to step down. I don't really know. He might see it as a step down. Obviously, we did finish um, very high last year, actually above Liverpool, so technically we're doing better than them at the moment. Porto wants 32 million, which is a lot of money and much more than I was expecting. But I've got to bear in mind, he's a good player, so he might well be worth it. 28 million is what we're going to go with in the hope that they do decide to accept that. Okay, as I feared, we've got to the Sunderland game and we don't have one of our better strikers in yet. So we're going to have to wait on that and kind of see how Callum Wilson goes on up front. We should have enough in this team to really still beat um, Sunderland. We do have a much better side than them, I believe. So we should be okay. We'll have to just go with this team, I think. Uh, not really missing any player in particular, I don't believe. No, I think we're doing all right with this sort of side. Uh, we'll put it out, and hopefully that is going to be good enough to get, us, uh, get ourselves a win. I think we will, again, just have to sim it. This time it is um, an away match, so it is a bit more risky, but we'll do it through the calendar and uh, hope for the best. This one I don't really have as good of a feeling about. This one I think it could mean that we might well drop points on the second match. Not ideal, but we'll wait and see how we get on. And we've actually won the game 2-0. Wow, this team's actually starting to fill me with confidence. I think this side could be a very good team. We're able to sim those sort of away matches, which last year we probably wouldn't have got full points from. So, very happy with that. Norwich have accepted the bid I've put in, which included Luke Carey, who's a, a player I was trying to get rid of. So, really happy with that. And we'll go and pause at first team player uh, for Nelson there. Try and get him in 20 grand a week. I feel that's quite good, considering his age and overall. And Calvin Phillips wants a bigger role at the club. Same with Rossetti. I do plan to play them, but obviously I will only be playing them when I'm playing the match, if that makes sense. Um, so, we'll wait and see how they do. And, uh, yeah, let's quickly change things around, I think, this week. Okay, I've just made one change, and that's bringing in Eric Dye, who's close to going up to 79 overall. I was tempted to change them all, but I actually thought, well, their attributes seem to be going up by quite a bit this week, uh, which they have done. Uh, so that means I'm actually moves closer to 81 overall, and Coleman closer to 72. Great news for us, and let's just try and get another striker. We can't go into the Southampton game without a striker. Yes, brilliant news. Porto have accepted 28 million for Andre Silva. Now then, we're going to have to go 50 grand a week. We'll go five-year deal, and I think we have to go uh, crucial first-team player. He's 81 overall, so I don't know why it's not showing the overall here, but he is 81 overall, I believe. Um, so we should be okay. Lucas showing the exit door. Transfer listed. Oh, this guy's really good. He, he glitches to a high overall, doesn't he? I've noticed that before. Um, he's been transfer list. He wants to leave. 
that would be the ideal replacement if we could swap him for Yaya Torre, but we can't. Um, let's see whether we can try and get him in. I'll have a look how much money we've got left. Okay, this is the deal I'm going to go with. I'm going to swap Ramirez um, and 6 million to try and get in Lee Lucas. Now, you might be wondering why I'm swapping Ramirez. He has had a really good season for us, but he's 31 years old, and part of this series is to try and develop young uh, players, particularly English players, but also uh, we've got actually a Welsh player here, so British players it could be in particular. Um, so we're going to try and get Lucas Lee, uh, sorry, Lee Lucas in and um, try and get rid of Ramirez as part of that deal because if you look at his stats, he's a similar sort of player to Ramirez in terms of his pace and his stamina, that sort of thing. So I wouldn't be worried about missing that and his passing is incredible. So since he's transfer listed, that's a combined total of about 15 million, I think it was. Um, so we might be able to get him in on the cheap here. We'll see what Swansea say to it and uh, hopefully try and get him in. Okay, Sturridge has accepted the contract. Wow, we could potentially have an 85 rated player in here. Uh, but we're also going to wait on uh, our other striker that we're putting a bid for. Wait and see what he says to the contract that we've offered him. I'd assume he'd accept it, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously. Um, because if I was to choose between the two, I would probably go with... Uh, is it Das Silva? Andre Silva, sorry. I uh, would probably go with him if I had to. Uh, transfer offer, and we've got Congolo. 8 million. We're just going to reject that. We're not too interested in getting rid of Congolo right now. And Swansea have said unacceptable. They are interested in the play, but they want 12.5 million on top of that. We don't really have 12.5 million to give them, to be honest, but we can give them seven, um, just so we still have enough to get in Andre Silva. Um, it does look like Andre Silva is the best one, I think, for me. Um, I think he could still go up further, quite quite a bit further as well, Andre Silva. Um, he just seems to have more what I'm after, I think. So I'm going to miss out on Sturridge, even though I know he's a proven player, and I'm going to risk it spending 28 million on a player that looks really good, but isn't proven yet. So I am going to risk it. It is a big risk, uh, because obviously it could really go quite bad for us, but 28 million is a lot of money to spend. We'll get rid of, um, we'll reject the storage deal, um, just to kind of get rid of that one, and we'll try and get in the right back here as well, but that might mean we can't get in Lee Lucas. I think we'll accept it anyway, I think we might be okay just about to get in Lee Lucas. Okay, so just go up saying I've signed a top player. Now to me that suggests that it's higher than 81, the player I've just signed. Uh, for striker and he's actually not he is still 81 even though we didn't see his overall as we were signing him but look at those stats he looks incredible he really does look incredible so he can play right winger as well he's just got everything he's strong and he's fast that's perfect for what we're after in that position he should be able to fill Berahino's shoes quite comfortably and I'm really looking forward to using him Yaya Torre, it's such a shame we can't get rid of Yaya Torre because he hasn't had a good season for us in the last one. Um, but at the moment, I think it looks like he's going to be staying as he's retiring at the end of the season. Um, so he probably won't get too much money for him. Nelson, I don't know whether to put him on the bench or not. I think I'll just leave him high up in the reserves. I'll move on to looking at getting Lee Lucas now. Okay, Swansea have accepted the 7 million and Ramirez in order to get in Lee Lucas. We are struggling a little bit for wage here. I think Ramirez's wage must have been 60 grand. I thought it would have been more than 60 grand, uh, to be honest. We'll have a quick look what it was, or maybe they've offered him a lower amount than what we've given him. Uh, let's have a little look. How much was it? It was 70, so maybe they've offered him 60, Ramirez. That's a bit of a strange one. We now need to somehow change this budget, so we've still got 7 million, but also 10 grand a week to give him as well. It's going to be so close. Oh, just... Just got enough. That is very close. And I think we will actually go ahead with the 70 grand. Four year deal, crucial first team player. And let's get in a Welsh player alongside our English players. Let's get in some more British players, uh, which is great to see. And uh, hopefully we can try and get him in. And then we will have spent all our money, which is quite a lot to be honest. We've spent loads in this episode. But I think we've brought in the right sort of players. Look at that one. Herrera's gone to Newcastle for 19 million from Man United. Very strange signing yet again, um, but this match against Southampton's kind of come a bit too early. I really would have liked to have played this one, um, but again, I either lift, I, I leave you on a cliffhanger uh, as to whether we get Lee Lucas or I play the match and we, we find out. I don't really have enough time to play it, so I'll have to leave you on a cliffhanger um, as to whether we've signed uh, Lee Lucas or not. I think we should have really. I can't see him rejecting the offer. Could be wrong though. We'll wait and find out in the next episode. Join me for that, um, probably not tomorrow, but the day after, and uh, we'll wait and find out. That is it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If we could go hit 25 likes on this video, that would be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button as well. That would be fantastic. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.